Hi, I'm Brian Larson, Director of Partner Business Development at Broadcom. I'm here with Howard Johnson, who is our Brocade Technology Architect for FICON. Welcome to the FICON Expert Series. Today, we're going to talk about our Gen 7 platform and a new feature called FICON Logical Switch and the benefits in a FICON environment. Howard, before we get started with uh, logical switching and the, the specific element of a FICON logical switch, just so I understand, logical switches is not net new, correct? That's correct. Logical switch concept has been around for over a decade in the uh, fabric operating system offered by Brocade. What we're doing this time around is we're creating a version of it that's unique for FICON. You can think of a logical switch as the equivalent of an LPAR carves up the physical hardware into logical components and then you can associate ports on the switch with each different logical switch. So uh, FICON logical switches though, then when we talk about that feature, um, maybe you want to give us a, a, a solid overview of what that is, but then what's different between the previous generations of sand gear and the Gen 7 platform? The FICON logical switch was introduced because we were finding that users had uh, difficulty in configuring the logical switch to operate in a mainframe environment. The system 390 architecture has very specific characteristics that are required for operating and, and making I.O. consistent throughout the environment. In fact, the devices, that is the channels and the control units, have a method of asking the fabric if the environment is set properly before they start executing I.O. If the switch does not respond correctly, then the channel will simply stop and uh, no longer communicate with the switch until the characteristics are set properly. And what we found is that the administrators would often go through and set up their switches, checking off each one of the characteristics manually, but occasionally they would miss one. And this process that, uh, really took them hours to get right because they would bring the switch up, the channels would connect, They'd have to dig through and figure out why it didn't connect and go back through each one of the little characteristics to find that very one that they missed. With the FICON logical switch, we've simplified all that. And the administrator simply goes in, creates his logical switch and says, I want to make it a FICON logical switch. Once that's done, all of those little characteristics that used to be done manually are now done automatically. And the container called the FICON logical switch is ready for operation immediately. The administrator can simply then add in his ports and uh, assign the link addresses as he's got them defined in the IOCDS and he's off and running. So if I was to summarize this, the real value to the end user or the, the, the administrators is an ease of use function and um, the ability to really reduce the amount of time to set up a new SAN. Does that kind of summarize it right? You've hit the nail on the head, Brian. In fact, we've had customers who have been using the FICON logical switch feature come back and tell us that they've reduced their administrative time from hours into minutes. And in fact, one customer simply responded, wow. And that's probably one of the most <laughs> complimentary responses we've ever gotten from a customer uh, when we've introduced a new feature. All right, Howard, you've given us a really good uh, overview of what the logical switch is, FICON logical switch is, but maybe they maybe these uh, the viewers would like to go into a little bit more depth. So uh, why don't you help us out here with a little bit more detail behind this? Oh, absolutely. Um, previously, when we were configuring the switch, we had to configure things like the insistent domain ID, the security policy, the routing policy, the area limits. Oh, and the address binding and all that stuff had to be done uh, in order to make the switch work right and respond correctly to the channel when the channel logs into the switch. And if any one of those things were missed, then the channel would uh, terminate the login process and then stop and say, hey, I need to have this switch fixed uh, before I'll uh, start any sort of I.O. So the FICON logical switch automatically sets up the insistent domain ID, the security policy, the high integrity fabric, the routing policy, the area limitations, as well as the fabric binding characteristic. So that once we're all done, the only thing the administrator does is then add in the ports and assign their link addresses and he's off and running. I think that's about all the time we have for today, Howard. Um, uh, just to uh, wrap things up, is there, uh, we, we do have a set of series of videos that are going to be associated with Gen 7. I mentioned that in this series. So if you're looking for that kind of information, 
please go to Broadcom SAN mainframe page and you'll be able to find a lot of information. So on behalf of Howard and myself, thank you for your time. We hope you found this interesting. Thank you.